We often think of human evolution as a straight line, a neat march from a crouched ape to a standing human, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Our family tree is not a ladder, it's a tangled, branching bush, and to understand ourselves, we need to understand our cousins. Where do Neanderthals fit in this messy, wonderful family story? For a long time, the story was simple. We evolved from Neanderthals. This is a myth. The reality is, we are more like cousins who shared a common grandparent. That grandparent was likely a species called Homo Heidelberg and Seas. These ancient humans lived around 700,000 to 200,000 years ago and were skilled hunters and toolmakers. From this common ancestor, our family split. One branch of Homo heidelbergensis migrated out of Africa and into the colder climates of Europe and Western Asia, isolated and facing the harsh pressures of the Ice Age. They evolved specific adaptations, stockier bodies, larger noses, and massive strength. Over hundreds of thousands of years, this branch became the Neanderthals, the masterful survivors of Eurasia. Meanwhile, back in Africa, another branch of Homo Heidelbergen Seas was on its own evolutionary path. They developed a taller, lighter build, adapted for long-distance travel in warmer climates. Their technology and social structures became increasingly complex. This branch would eventually become us, Homo sapiens. For millennia, these two cousin species evolved separately, on different continents. Then, around 60,000 years ago, Homo sapiens began their own great migration out of Africa. When they entered the Middle East and Europe, it was a world already occupied. For the first time, we encountered our cousins, the Neanderthals. This is where the story gets intimate. We didn't just meet them, we mingled with them. Genetic evidence proves that these encounters produced fertile offspring. Most people of non-African descent carry a small but significant amount of Neanderthal DNA today. This proves we were not just competitors, we were compatriots, at least sometimes. But Neanderthals weren't our only relatives. As we expanded across Asia, we encountered another mysterious branch of the family, the Denisovans, known only from fragments of bone and teeth from a Siberian cave. Incredibly, we interbred with them, too, and there were likely others' ghost lineages hinted at in our DNA, entire branches of the human family that we know only from the genetic traces they left behind, when they met and mated with our ancestors. So, Neanderthals were not our ancestors, and they were not a failed version of us. They were one of several successful human species, a parallel experiment in what it means to be human. They were our cousins, our competitors, and in a very real genetic sense, our partners. Their story teaches us that there was never just one way to be human.